Today, we're going to learn how to transform a standard form of equation of a circle to its general form. The standard form of equation of a circle is this, x minus h squared plus y minus y minus k squared equals r squared. The ordered pair h, k is actually the center of the circle. And uh, of course, the r is the length of the radius. The general form of the equation of a circle is like this x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by plus c equals 0. Now let's have an example, an actual example of equation of a circle which is in standard form and let's convert it into its general form. So I have an example here which is x, x minus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 3 squared. All right, so um, to do this, to, to convert this or to um, rewrite this in its general form, this is going to be very easy. What we're going to do is we're just going to expand this term here, this expression here. So to do that, we will have x minus 1 times x minus 1, which is x times x, it's actually x squared. x times negative 1, it's negative x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. And negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. This is x squared minus 2x plus 1 when we simplify this. For this one here, we're going to do the same pattern. y minus 3 times y minus 3. So y times y is y squared. That's there. And y times negative 3, it's negative 3y. Negative 3 times y, it's negative 3y. And lastly, negative 3 times negative 3, that's positive 9. And simplifying these terms here, we have y squared minus 6y plus 9. Okay? So basically, this one here, this one here can be written in this form, in this form here. And this one here can be also written in this form. So to continue solving, we have x squared, let me just write it visibly, x squared minus 2x plus 1. This is the expansion of this expression here, plus, because we have an addition operation here, the, expas the expansion of this term here is this one, y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals simply the square of 3 is just 9. We're going to combine similar terms here, and the terms that we can combine are 1 and 9 only. So we have x squared minus 2x plus y squared minus 6y plus 10 equals 9. After doing this, we're going to rearrange the terms according to their exponents. So we're, gonna, we're going to rearrange this according to this arrangement here. So we would have x squared plus y squared minus 2x, right? minus 6y plus 10 equals 9. And to eliminate the 9 here, we're going to subtract both sides by 9. So we are going to have what? x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 6y plus 10 minus 9 equals 9 minus 9. Oh. Let me rewrite it so that you can see the um, complete solution. So I'm just going to write it here. x squared plus y squared minus 2x 
minus 6y plus 10 minus 9 equals 9 minus 9. This becomes 0 here and 10 minus 9 becomes 1. x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 6y plus 1 equals 0. In other words, this form here is the general form of this standard form equation of the circle. All right. Earlier, we learned how to uh, transform a standard form of equation of a circle to its general form. Right now, we're going to be doing the other way around. So we're going to convert a general form of the circle a general form of the circle, which is, um, sorry, let me type it first. General form is x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by plus c equals 0. In the standard form, if you can still remember, is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So we're going to have an actual example of an equation of a circle which is written in general form. And after that, we are going to transform it to its standard form. So the equation that we have here, ladies and uh, gentlemen, is going to be x squared. Let me write it. Um, correctly, x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 4y equals negative 1. Okay? All right. So, first things first, um, what I would suggest or what I can give you as a tip is rearrange the terms here according to their variables, meaning to say, put together those terms which have the same variable. So we have x squared minus 2x plus y squared minus 4, oh, sorry, 4y equals negative 1. After doing this, um, we're going to group them. If you notice, this is going to be one group, and this is going to be another group. We're going to do completing the squares for each group. And if you can still remember how to complete the square is that we're going to add a third term here for this first group and how to solve for that uh, how to solve for that third term. We're going to take half of this and then square it or you can say b over 2 raised to the power of 2 or you can say 2 over 2 raised to the power of 2. So, x squared minus 2x, take half of this, which is, um, which is half of negative 2, that's negative 1. So, I'm just going to write it for you so that you can see it, change it to a different color. So, it's going to be pl plus, oh, it, plus half of this one, which is negative 2 over 2 raised to the power of 2. Okay, and then for the second group, you're going to do the same thing for the second group. Plus y squared minus 4y. Half of negative 4, which is actually negative 4 over 2, and then square the result. So basically, that's going to be plus negative 4 over 2 equals negative 1. Now, to balance the equation, whatever term you added here, in this side here of the equal symbol, you also need to add that or those terms here. So, we're going to add plus negative 2 over 2 squared plus negative 4 over 2 squared. So, simplifying this one here, we would have x squared minus 2x plus 1 because negative 2 over 2 it's negative 1 and then you square it that's actually 1 plus 
y squared minus 4y. Negative 4 over 2, we know it's negative 2. And then, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. There should be square there. Negative 4 over 2, uh, that's negative 2 squared. There should be 4. Equals negative 1, this is plus 1 plus, ah, I'm sorry. Yeah, plus 4. All right, so I'm going to simplify this first before I'm going to do anything here. So this becomes x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared minus 4y plus 4. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so what is left is just positive 4. What is next, guys, is we're going to do factoring on each um, group. We're going to take this as one whole group. And this is going to be another group. Notice that this group here, this is already a perfect square trinomial. And when we factor this, the factor of this group can be written as x minus 1 raised to the power of 2 because this is going to be the scenario. Um, square the first term, which is this one plus twice the product of the first and second term, or minus the product of the first and second term, plus 1. So this becomes like this. x minus y squared, which is square the first term, minus twice the product of the first and second term, plus y squared. So our first term here, it's going to be x. So see? square the first term. Our second term, it's going to be y. So this is a scenario. Twice the product of x and 1. The product of x and 1 is actually x. And times 2, that's why negative 2x here. And then square of the second term. Square of 1 is just what? 1. So basically, this becomes, I'm just going to write it here. This becomes x minus 1 squared. This one here also follow the same pattern here. So I'm just going to write it for you. This can be written actually as, sorry, let me remove the parentheses, y squared minus 2 times 2 times y. Oh, let me rearrange it for you so that you can see the pattern. Times y times 2 plus 2 squared. So similarly here, square the first term minus twice the product of the first term and second term. So the first term here is y. The second term is actually 2. That's why we get 4 here. And then square the second term. The second term is 2. The square of 2 is actually 4. Okay? For this, I'm talking about this one here. Forget about 4 yet. So here, in other words, this one or this one here can be written in this form where our second term is actually 2. So this becomes plus, oops, yeah, it's the same color, y minus 2 squared. And then you copy this 4 here because you still have this 4 here equals 4. And to finally form the standard form of the equation like this, you do this. x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 2 squared. There you go. So this is now the standard form of the equation from its general form.